students we were discussing about the muscular tissue we have already discussed about the striated muscles okay so today we are starting with the second type of muscular tissue that is unstriated muscular tissue which is also known as a smooth muscular tissue or involuntary muscular tissue why it is known as unstriated because there is no alternate lining of the dark and light bands why it is smooth for the same reason because there is no lining alternate lining of this dark and the light bands then why it is known as involuntary because these muscles will not work under our control okay so unstriated muscles are also known as involuntary muscles and these muscles will contract without our conscious control control okay then what is its structure it is formed of thin layers of sheets and the cells are spindle shaped you see here the cells are spindle shaped it is uninucleated okay it has myofibrils myofibrils are actually the muscle fibers and what are muscle fibers muscle fibers are the basic unit of the muscle cell myofibrils is also known as muscle fiber and these muscle fiber is the basic unit of the muscle cell okay so it has single nucleus there is no alternate lining of the dark and the light band then what is sarcoplasm sarco term is used for muscles sarco term is used for muscles so the plasma membrane of the muscle cell will be known as sarco lemma this will be known as sarco lemma l e m m a okay endoplasmic reticulum of the muscle cell will be known as sarcoplasmic reticulum the cytoplasm of the muscle cell will be known as sarcoplasm okay so sarcoplasm is the cytoplasm of the muscle cell sarcolemma is the uh, plasma membrane of the muscle cell sarcoplasmic reticulum is the endoplasmic reticulum of the muscle cell myofibril is the muscle fiber myofibril or the muscle fiber is same and it is the basic structural unit or you can say basic rod like units of the muscle cell okay then what is its location where it is found it is found in the internal organs such as stomach intestine urinary bladder uterus iris of the eye iris is the muscle which holds the lens of our eyes so iris of the eye muscle which is holding the or attached to the skin and the lining of the blood vessels this particular muscular tissue is not found in the heart okay so excluding heart because heart also performs the involuntary motion so it should have the involuntary muscle but this muscle is not found in the heart now what is its function it helps in the involuntary movement of the organs and the organ systems this is the structure of the unstriated muscle now we have to start with the cardiac muscle so cardiac muscle also known as heart muscle or myocardium okay so there are three types of vertebrate muscle with other two being skeletal and smooth muscle we have already discussed now about it these so this is involuntary striated that constitutes the main tissue of the walls of the heart why a separate type of cardiac muscular tissue is there because this muscular tissue is sharing some features with the involuntary muscles and some features with the voluntary muscles okay so in which respect it is involuntary it is on the basis of the function because the movement or the beating or the contraction of heart is not under your conscious control so on the basis of function it is similar to involuntary muscle but on the basis of a structure it is similar to voluntary muscle because it will have the striations of alternate light and dark band but there will be a difference 
the light and dark bands thickness will be more in voluntary and less in cardiac okay the thickness of the light and dark band will be more in voluntary muscle and there will be thin striations or thin lining of the li light and dark band will be found in the cardiac muscle so in this way the cardiac muscle is sharing the features of both voluntary and involuntary muscle and that is why a separate type of muscular tissue we have to study and there is a separate type of muscle that is cardiac muscle the cardiac muscle fibers have a single nucleus the cells are branched this is also a difference whereas the striated muscles are long cylindrical tube like structure but in this case of cardiac muscle this cylindrical tube like structure is branched okay like this okay and joined to one another by intercalated disc so this space will be filled with intercalated disc and these two branching will be bridged by the oblique bridges like this see here so there is thin striations thin alternate light and dark band uninucleated cells okay the cells are branched and this branching is filled with what intercalated disc and there is oblique bridges bridges which connects the branched area or branched part of the cardiac muscle okay now what is its location it is found in the walls of the heart and function it will perform the coordinated contractions that allow the heart to pump the blood throughout a circulatory system so cut you why over here so that allow our heart to pump the blood throughout our circulatory system so this heart and uh, this muscle will never get fatigue or does not get fatigue it continuously contracts and relaxes and it is all the time pumping the blood throughout a circulatory system so this is all for today thank you everyone